I walked into this place, which was like a den of homosexuality, because everybody there was gay, and uh, kind of in my usual macho self. And I just decided, well, the only thing I'm going to do over here, the only way to handle this thing is to take charge. So I walked over to Andy, and I said, hey, you sit up over here. And he sat up, because he's got that kind of like bemused expression on, uh, kind of attacked expression on his face. And I said, survey your, uh, your domain, man. And I took these pictures. and I. That, that opening set, and I left, and I came back two days later, and I showed up, and he says, oh, my God, those are beautiful. My original impression of him was, uh, uh, this is a pretty smart hustler who's putting a scam together. Uh, and uh, when I left, that was my impression of him was, this is a very smart hustler. Uh, who has put a very deceptive scam together. And at the point with Andy, this thing, it wasn't haphazard. Uh, this wasn't fun and games. This was Andy Warhol Incorporated. That the public didn't know, and that really still doesn't know, that it was always Andy Warhol Incorporated. There were lawyers, there were accountants, or there was this whole straight world backup that was going on behind him while he was playing this game. There's a uh, kind of like a saying in the criminal world, you use your friends, but you don't abuse them. And he abused. And he like, just wrung out of them whatever there was and then just uh, threw them to the pack. It was like a bitch pack. They were very bright, articulate kids who could be very, very mean. And it was like a pack of piranhas. There was a certain amount of determination, a certain amount of tension going on over here. And uh, this is what, who was, in effect, uh, Andy's bum boy at the time, which is Gerard Malanga. Uh, as he later told me, was pretending to be gay so that he could become a member of the group. And uh, all the while, uh, he was stealing from everybody. He stole from Andy. He stole from me. He uh, and now has set himself up. Uh, with what's called the Gerard Molanga archive. And he's very typical he, of what it would take to survive, actually to survive. <laughs> 